So what are lost, mislaid, or abandoned items, and how does that pertain to, to property law or property rights? Well, uh, it, an individual may have ownership uh, over a property, okay, and then they lose those personal items or they mislay those personal items, uh, and somebody else comes along and finds or acquires those items. Well, who has... Uh, does ownership at that point in time transfer to someone else or who has superior rights in it? Well, generally as we've talked about the concept of, of ownership and property rights being an individual's ability to enforce certain rights and that, and ownership is the uh, recognition by others, the government and by third parties, of your rights in something. Well, the finder of lost, party, uh, of lost property might have some rights in that property. Now, most jurisdictions have a statutory procedure in place for lost items that say uh, when an item is lost, if you uh, disclose that lost item to the police department, you uh, provide notice to the public, say through a, a public medium of publication, a newspaper, magazine, etc., uh, in, in the local locale where the property was found or in some expanded version of that location, uh, and no one claims it for a specific period of time, then that is demonstrative of an intent to abandon that property. And with that being said, uh, ownership rights or recognition of rights of the finder of that property, uh, the government may, may recognize that then. Okay, so ownership technically then transfers to the finder of that item. Okay, so in this way, ownership rights transfer even without the express consent of another person. It's that they, uh, by not responding to the notice to the public, not undertaking the effort to find the item, they've demonstrated an intent to abandon that item. And once an what's a intent to abandon is demonstrated, uh, the person or individual in possession of that item uh, acquires a level of ownership, a greater recognition of their rights in it. And after an intent of abandonment, the the finder of that property may have ownership rights that are in some way superior to the original owner. Okay, so uh, the same goes with mislaid items. Mislaid items are items that typically are left behind at a location or misplaced at a, at a location for a period of time. The most common scenario would be a jacket or uh, glasses or something like that left at uh, a, a public um, um, locations such as a restaurant or something like that. Now, the finder of those items, if it's the establishment owner, generally has an obligation to uh, hold those items uh, in the event someone comes back and claims it. But again, after a certain period of time that no one has come back to, to look for and claim those items, it's demonstrative of an uh, intent to abandon those items. So the owner or, or holder of the item in the establishment could seek to to follow the statutory process for reducing those items to his or her ownership. And even so, even without that, after uh, an extended period of time, uh, the intent to abandon uh, becomes more and more obvious or, or more and more apparent. So the possessor of the item begins to acquire a greater deal of recognition that their possession equals a greater deal of a, a greater level of, of rights in the property. So they begin to acquire ownership in the property.